He has flowing blonde hair, an all-powerful hammer, and a place in the Norse pantheon of gods. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origin of Thor. His Thorigens, if you will. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1962's Journey into Mystery No. 83, and was expanded upon in 1968's Thor No. 59 and 1983's Thor Annual 11. Vastly different from the Thor that audiences know today, the Marvel hero once possessed a secret identity which was central to the character. In fact, Thor's original comic book outing began following an American doctor named Donald Blake, who was visiting remote parts of Norway. It was during his trip that Blake encountered aliens from Saturn who were scouting Earth in the planning of their grand invasion. Attempting to hide, Blake ducked into a nearby cave, only to discover that a large boulder blocked the other exit. Just as he was about to be discovered by the aliens who were nearly upon him, a secret door opened and Blake stumbled upon a relic, an ancient cane. Nearly out of time and fresh out of options, the frustrated Blake struck the boulder with the cane, which incredibly transformed it into a mighty hammer, and himself into Thor, the Norse god of thunder. As Thor, he was able to easily move the boulder and escape the cave. He then discovered that in order to remain as Thor, he must continually hold the hammer, which held untold abilities and powers. Soon after, the alien army from Saturn began their invasion, and Earth's defenses proved no match for their superior alien technology. Just when all seemed lost, Thor used his mighty hammer to defeat the aliens and send them fleeing back to their homeworld. In issue number 158, Thor was struggling with an identity crisis and began to reminisce on his past. This included thinking back on his various battles and his relationships with both the Earthling Jane Foster and the goddess Sif. In the next issue, Thor number 159, Thor, in his human form as Donald Blake, asked Odin for answers to his true identity, which Odin agreed to provide. Odin told him the story of a young and reckless Thor who broke a truce between the Asgardians and the giants of Nephilim. Upon returning to Asgard, Thor engaged in an arm wrestling match with someone at a local tavern, which eventually resulted in a huge brawl. An infuriated Odin berated his son Thor, criticizing him for lack of humility. You are a vain, greedy, Cool boy! And you are an old man and a fool! As punishment, Odin decided to send Thor to Earth to live the life of a mortal with a disability. I now take from you your power! In the name of my father! And his father before! I owned it, our father! Cut you out! He also made Thor a doctor, so he would be forced to help the sick and the wounded. It's too quiet. I don't like it. Something is about to happen. I can sense it in the air. I'd better search the streets for telltale signs of danger. Odin had likewise hid the mighty hammer Mjolnir, but orchestrated events so that Thor would eventually find it only after he learned his lesson. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Thor's origin was expanded even further in Thor Annual number 11. Here, Odin was shown to have wanted a son with the power of both heaven and earth. Visiting Midgard, or Earth to us, he seduced Jord, the personification of the earth. When Thor was born, Odin brought him back to Asgard to be raised by his wife, Frigga. She was totally cool with it though. Over the years, Thor would constantly have his hands full with the evil schemes of his adoptive brother Loki. Loki eventually got so out of hand that Thor teamed up with Ant-Man, Wasp, Hulk, and Iron Man to stop him. By working together, they were able to stop Loki and decided to continue working together as a team, calling themselves the Avengers. Thor would remain an essential part of the Avengers until eventually stepping down from the team in Avengers Volume 3, number 63. Like most comic book heroes, Thor has gone through numerous reimaginings, perhaps none more prominent than in the Ultimate Universe. In this version of the character, Thor has no human alter ego and is a reluctant warrior with a personality that other people consider to be unbearable. While Thor never received his own Ultimate comic book, he has appeared in many different Ultimate storylines as a member of The Ultimates. Aside from the comics, Thor has appeared in various media. In the 1960s, he starred in his own segment of the animated series, The Marvel Superheroes. Recently, Thor has grown into popularity, thanks to Chris Hemsworth's portrayal in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. 
The Earth is under my protection, Loki. <laughs> and you're doing a marvelous job with that. And was featured prominently in the animated series, The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Hold up, Thor. Whoever this Joker is, he took all of us down without breaking a sweat. Are you a fan of Thor? This drink, I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! For more smashing comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.